Hi, you are welcome to my YouTube channel, Alma's Vlog. I'm happy to have you around today. How is your day going? I guess everyone is doing great. Yes, you are welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. This is Alma's Vlog, where things happen for, for real. You know, we tell the truth here, because the truth you know will move you to the next level. Okay, so um, you're welcome. If you're just um, joining us, you are welcome. If you've been with us, I truly appreciate you. Okay, yes. Um, someone just made a comment, said that the last video I made, that she's a new subscriber and I gave kisses to the old subscribers while I gave the new subscribers just a hug. Are you for real? <laughs> okay, do you know why I did that? My old subscribers are real and I don't, you know, I don't joke with them mm? because they are the people that had the reason I'm here today. If they have not subscribed to my channel, then maybe by now I would have given up. I'll be like, nobody's watching my video. But do you know, they have been with me. They have been supporting me. You know, they leave nice comments for me that keeps me going and I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. But you guys that are still just, you know, joining, you don't expect me to give you my kisses. My kisses are super expensive. <laughs> but you see my hug. My hug is a little bit, you know, affordable. So don't worry. As you have joined now as a subscriber, one of the subscribers, don't worry. You'll be getting lots and lots of, you know, kisses. Okay? All right. Enough of the joke. Let's go ahead with um, what has brought us today. Which is the topic of today okay good you know um today's topic is about sand about earth okay about sand you know many people do not know that this sand we step our foot on is very powerful it is very very powerful you can actually you know you can actually hold your enemies using sand you can actually you know destroy your enemies plans using sand. You can actually put confession in their midst. You can scatter their plans. Because even the Bible said that in one way they will gather, in seven ways they shall scatter. You can actually scatter their plans, scatter their, you know, whatever, anybody that is going to different places, hidden places, just to hurt you. You can actually destroy their plans using sand. Okay? So this is why I have decided to come today to teach you how to pray with sand. How to pray with sand and all your prayers and wishes will come through. Regarding, so far as you are, you know that you're not wishing others evil. I keep saying this. So far as you know your heart is clean, therefore this, you know, remedy will work for you. This is a very fast remedy. You can do this anywhere. You can do it even if you're not in Nigeria, even if you're abroad. If you are a Nigerian and you are abroad, you can actually use the sand in abroad to connect with the one in your father's house in Nigeria here to pray. Yes. To scatter the plans of the evil ones, the plans of the enemies towards you. Because what you people don't know is that this is a this, this is not an ordinary fight. Hmm? It's a spiritual war, spiritual fight. Because even if even a even a newborn baby that has come to this world without any evil intentions or enemies or anything, do you know that from the day that the baby has been, you know, delivered? Even from the womb, the baby has started, enemies have started gathering. They might just gather because they don't like the mother. They might gather just because the baby is coming. You understand? So we should all be spiritually alert. We should be alert at any point in time so that we can fight this battle. If you are a mother, you need to be spiritually, you know, strong for your children and for your family. Because if you are not, I'm sorry for you. They need you. They need you. They are kids. They can't fight this battle by themselves. Though their guiding angels are always at a lot. But what I want to tell you is that you they need you. You need to be, you know, spiritually strong as a mother in your family. Wake up midnight. Start, start your, you know, your duty as a mother. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is to get your alligator pepper. Your alligator pepper. Okay. You are going to take your alligator pepper in the night prior to the day, the morning you're going to use this sand for prayer because the prayer is going to take place in the morning. 
So first of all, you are going to use this alligator pepper in the night to remove whatever, just one seed, just one seed of alligator pepper like this. You're going to use it, okay, to remove from your head all over your body. You remove any bad luck inflicted on you where you went to. As you went to your business, as you went to your office, as you went to the market, whoever you have come in contact with, any spiritual attack that you've come in contact with, anyone that has happened to you through anywhere whatsoever, that you are removing all the bad locks, you know, you are going to use this to rip, and my people call it a batch ocho. If you are an Igbo, you use it to batch ocho. Ocho means bad luck, you know, anything that is not good is, is ocho. Mm? You will use it to remove everything. As you are praying, as you are using, using it to remove everything, you will be declaring, you know what you are going to be declaring upon yourself, you know. After declaring, just one seed this time around. Just one seed. Mm? As you finish declaring and you're removing it, you now go to your, you know, close to the wall in your house. You go there and drop it, okay? You're going there to drop it there, where um, a, a woman and her period will not touch it. Of course, you know that this time around, you're opening the alligator pepper, taking your hands to the back, okay? You are not taking your hands to the front. Because where this is spiritual, okay? So you are going to use it after using it to remove all the bad luck. You keep it close to the wall, okay? By the time you must have um, woken up, when you wake up in the morning, you don't need to talk to anybody. You just step outside, okay? You step outside and then remove your slippers. Whatever you're wearing, don't wear any footwear, okay? Then you just bend down, take some amounts of sand, okay? Yeah, take some amount of sand and start making the declarations. This is the sand. This is called your Ikenga hand. That is your left hand, your messenger hand. It's called your Ikenga hand. This is your messenger hand, I repeat. This is the hand you are using to send messages. Because we all have our messenger hands. And this is your, this is your messenger hold shoulder. And this is your messenger hand. You are going to lift it and make declarations. This is done if you notice that there are a lot of things, a lot of evil things happening to you. And you suspect it might be from your father's house. You are going to use this sand wherever you are. Even if you are, you are in Abuja, your village is in Enugu or in Anambra. Or you are in America, your village is in Nigeria. You are, you are in Europe. Anywhere you are, you can use it. If you are not in Nigeria and you are a Nigerian, you just take the sand that is there. Hmm? You call upon as a God your, and your guardian angels to come and take charge. You are going to tell God that this sand, you are using it as a point of contact to reach your hand, your sand in your father's ha uh, land. Since you are not there with them. You are not there in Nigeria, but you are using it as a point of contact. Therefore, whatever this sand, whatever the sand in your father's compound will do for you, this is exactly what this sand will do for you. Like myself, I'm in, I'm in Abuja. But if I want to make a contact sand, contact sand prayer, I will do so. Collecting the one that is available. Or I send, um, I send someone to get me sand from my father's house, from my father's land or my, my, my husband's place. If I want to do husband contact sand uh, prayer. If I want to do it, if someone, I will send them to bring it. If I don't have, I will also use the one available to make this prayer. So as you are saying, you'll be saying that, that as you are declaring today that this sand will bring you success. This sand will bring you fortune. It will make things, the, the area that is not moving forward in your life, it will start moving. You'll be saying all the good things, you'll be saying it while holding the sand like this. Okay? Then afterwards, the next thing is to raise your Ikenga hand up. That is your messenger hand. Raise your Ikenga hand up. That is your messenger hand. You raise it up to the sky. That you are declaring and decree, and de that you decree that... Any man, any woman that is visiting odd places in your in regards to your, your failure, that is making you, that is planning evil against you, that you are raising, as you're raising this, your messenger hand up. 
you are you are commanding this sand to go and scatter their plants and let them all die by fire let their plants be this, this let them let their plants be scattered and destroyed you understand you are going to be making these declarations and be decreeing that no man no woman no man or woman will be against your success from today henceforth you know the challenges you're going through so i, I suggest you say everything the way it is and the way you're going through that stuff then you decree that this yours that you you are going to be calling it yourself because you've made a contact if it if you are not in the village is what i'm saying you've made the contact already so you'll be saying that this is the sand where you this is the sand where you stood and got your son name and this is the stance the sand that from your the sand that defines you therefore any man any woman that is walking so far as they, they step their foot on the floor so far as they stand on the floor so far as they walk on the floor that they are planning evil against you let this let this let this sand you know hold them on justice that is hold the hand off for let this sand hold them on justice and any spirit that walks around that say that this prayer is not going to hold, let justice hold them. You are going to be making these declarations. You are going to be praying. You know all what you are going through, all your failures, all the things that has brought you know shame to you. You will be telling this son that you are the son of the soil. You are the daughter of the soil. Therefore, any man, any woman that has sworn that you are not going to succeed in life, let this son catch them on justice and let them be destroyed by fire. You'll be telling, you'll be saying it and be declare and be decreeing and be declaring that your path is already clear, that you are not going to experience all these failures in your life anymore. That you don't mind, even if, if this, even if the person is a, a family member. So far as the person wishes you evil, let the person go down. That anybody that wishes you to go to the grave early, let the person visit that grave before you. You'll be saying it and be, dec and be decreeing that whatever, even if it's a child, if they are whoever they are using, are they coming in, for, in form of witchcraft activities? Are they coming in form of anything? You don't care. All you know is that whoever that wants you dead, let the person test death first. Let the person visit the land of the, of the dead before you. You are not a foreigner in your father's house. You are not a foreigner in your father's land. Therefore, anybody that walks on, so far as they will walk and visit a visit odd places for you, in, to, for you to destroy your destiny or to destroy your life, let their lives not know peace. Let them not know peace. Let 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 confusion come into their, you know, come in their midst. As you are doing it, you'll be pouring the sand. You'll be dropping the sand on the floor and be saying, making this declaration. You'll be dropping the sand, small, small, and be saying it, and be saying it. You'll be declaring. You'll be declaring. You know, as you're dropping it on the floor, you'll be telling the sun to go and fight for you. In a key. Let this sun fight for you. In Ori. Let this fan fight for you. In Enkwa. Uh, fight for you. In Afo. You understand? You'll be dropping it. That is, if you're not a Nigerian, please. If you're not an Igbo, let this sun fight for you. In the east, west, north and south. You can use it like that. Afterwards, that is it. Watch and see what will happen. So far as you have, you have clear mind where your fellow human being is. So, not that you'll be doing such thing and be praying against it. No, mba no, or they may like that. So you have to make sure that you are clear. Your heart is clean. Okay, if your heart is clean and people are fighting evil, just don't worry. Watch and see what is what will happen. Before you know it, if you keep doing this, before you know it, you will start receiving news. Okay, okay, die though. Okay, for die. Leave them or let them be dying. If they are after your life, let them be the one to be dying. Simple. Yes. Because you, you are holding you are holding all of them on justice. Ojo Fogana. You understand? You are holding them on justice. Your hands are clean and they want to kill you. For what? Your hands are clean, they want to stop you from succeeding. They will be the one to they will be the one. Let them be the one that will suffer it. You understand? So you have finished your sand prayer or your contact sand prayer. Watch and see what will happen. May God bless you. As I'm coming to the end of this video, you are welcome if you're just joining us. Thank you if you've been with us. 
Please, if you're just joining, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.